it's shearing day, so I'll take you along on uh, our little shearing adventure and all the different stuff we do. So we got these girls, and those girls, and there's already some upstairs. So um, basically, we don't feed them for about 24 to 36 hours to make sure their guts are empty so they're more comfortable while shearing. And now we've got to chase them upstairs. So I've got my handy shaker paddle, makes a bit of noise. I'll sit this down and we'll chase some sheep upstairs to the handling system. And of course, the gate never stays open when you want it to. There's always one that needs to be at the end. So this is our bit of a catch pen here at the bottom of our ramp that goes upstairs to our handling system. Always make sure they can't get back out to where they came from. Okay ladies, see if I can get some of this on video for you. So usually I start just with a small group and then more follow. Okay. Come on, ladies. Come on, up we go. Up, up. Come on, guys. And the dog. Poppy, you're not helping much. Come in here, Poppy. Come. Come on, ladies. Up you go. Come on. Oh, yes, you're so ferocious. Basically, they just funnel upstairs, and once one starts going, the rest usually follow. There's always one that makes it a headache, but. Yeah, you show her, Poppy. You tell her, it's time for your haircut. You're going up. Okay, Poppy, go get him. Chase him all the way up. There we go. That group is upstairs. And is it, <laughs> this is the side where scary things happen and the humans take them through the chute. So... I gotta chase them around and then we'll uh, get ready and I'll show you the setup for shearing. There we go, everyone is packed in. Well, not everyone, there's still two more groups to come up. Um, but they're all in the holding area. There's some back there waiting in the circle too, so they'll just kind of funnel in. And the chute is full. These girls are about a month off from lambing, so they also get their pre lambing vaccine, the eight way clostridial vaccine for sheep so they can pass that immunity on to their babies you know have lots um so yeah what we do here is we just pull the race um off to the side of the combi clamp because we can't use that and then this is our modified crate here um so this just closes at the front i don't need them to go through so that will stay closed and then we always keep one in here ready for the shearer. 
And what I did is this top bar, I cut it off here. So we have working space across that. And then that bar is bolted down there. No, 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 shoot. And now you're turned around. So that bar is bolted across the bottom so that that's the trip bar. Um, so the shear just opens that gate, flips out the sheet. There's a bungee cord on here that uh, swings that gate shut. Then we clip it closed again. So yeah, and then this is all set up and cleaned up here for the board and then the skirting table and everything goes on that side. Once the sheep are sheared, we just made space for them there and the market lamp pen. Oh, you hit your head? <laughs> the problem with old barns is low beams. So that's the belly wool. We don't need that for anything, so that goes in the scrap bag. So this is how you check if a fleece is good. 
you can hear a little ping and that just means the whole fiber is strong throughout if i were to do this and it broke in half i wouldn't be using the slice So that's about 150-ish pounds of wool ready to go to the processor. Uh.